Good morning, uh, all of you. Good morning. Uh, this is Vinita Kaushik. I am an, uh, working as an assistant professor in CAC department in Maharaja Prasen University. Today, I am going to give the lecture on management information system. Uh, in this uh, system, uh, first of all, we have to know about the, first of all, what is the management information system? Management information system is like a system in which we have to integrate the computer system, which consists of the basically two parts. First is hardware and second one is the software by which we can achieve the uh, every role of the organization in which we can um, take the objectives uh, to calculate the data, to uh, process that data and store it and produce the information which is necessary for the management to run the organization. After that, there is uh, there are types of the information system. Uh, there are basically four types of uh, information system in which we can store our information of any organization, of any institute. First is descriptive, diagnostic, predictive, and the perspective. Next is the uh, basically further we uh, go for the types of the management information system. First of all, we have to know that what is basically MIS. MIS is not new uh, in our environment, in our surroundings. Uh, basically, it is an automation new earlier. The MIS management information system was used as a resource, uh, resources of information by the managers. This information would allow them to plan and control different operations used in organization. Now, since the MIS is computerized, it has increased its ac accuracy and speed, which has allowed more alternatives, which solving problems as well as sorry, decision making. Next, this is the importance of MIS in the business. How we can use the MIS in business? There are lots of uh, applications in the business where we can use the management information system, like in the corporate, in the goal setting, in the managing data, how we can manage the data on the large scale, how we can manage the accounting system, how we can uh, manage the goal, whatever we are taking the goal in our organization, we have to manage it, right? Next is a component of the management information system, management information and the system. These are the three words which are used to prepare a complete system. First of all, management. Management is like a process. Yeah, you can say that it's a procedure of planning and regulating the operations of an organization. Wherever the management will be there, there the organization will run or institute will run in the uh, good manner. Framing policies, what are the basic policies, what are the executions, and what are the stopping of employees are the basic tasks. The management procedure can be analyzed with the help of the manager's actions. Means there are lots of uh, properties by the managers who can manage the system, manage the organization. These are follows planning, staffing, organizing, directing, coordination, and controlling. First of all, planning. Planning is for what we have to plan the system. Whatever we want to do, whatever we have to plan, it should be in the organized manner. Next is a staffing. Staffing means whenever we have to manage any system, then we have required a team. For this, we have to manage a staff. How we can organize, how we can uh, give the directions to how to control and how to coordinate. These are the basic steps in the management information system. Next is the information. The word information is derived from the Latin word informer, which means give form to. How we can give the information to uh, do the work. Wherever we have any data which has been processed and retrieved in such a way to that it is meaningful to person who received it. Last, is a system. A group of elements is called a system. These elements are called subsystems. All the sus subsystems are grouped with each other to serve a common purpose. Why the whenever we uh, have to know that what is the basic uh, importance of the management information system. Now we have to go further for the need of management information system. Why we need it? First of all, efficiency storing and managing data. 
uh, of all the business functional areas, fast and accurate delivery of information as and when needed, when we need the information, then we have to deliver that information. Processing of gathered data and developing information, information availability for production and inventory, faster implementation of results available from reliable data stores, uh, sources, smooth flow of data within various level of organization make availability of the information required for planning organizing and monitoring business process this is the basic structure of the mis mis uh, is a, a, a huge uh, you can say that is a huge process which uh, in which there are lots of uh, capabilities or lots of applications are included software hardware database procedures operating personal input output and medium and message with the help of the software we can manage the data and uh, with the help of the database there are lots of database softwares in which we can manage our data like ms access like oracle like database uh, dbms lots of softwares are there what are the procedures we can use to uh, store the information what are the operating system we are used to store the data how are the inputs and inputs uh, outputs we are giving to the system by which we can manage our data and by which medium we can uh, deliver our data so after the structure of the mis these are the features of mis integrative system subsystem concept provides relevant information to management flexible enhances productivity and uh, coordinated systems feedback system management oriented management directed and common database these are the basic features of the mis now management information system uh, this is a course outline of the management information system in which we can manage the data in, with the help of the various informations why we need it what are the functions what are the importance of the mis what are the organization structures of mis computers what are the use of the computers with the help of the mis classifications of information system and information support for functional areas of the management organizing information system so these are the basic outlines up now what is the use of the information system in accounting accounting uh, information this is ais is a system of collecting storing and processing financial and accounting data that is used by decision makers it is generally a computerized based method for tracking accounting activities in conjunction with information technology resources it combines the study and practice of accounting with the design and implementation. Next, objectives. What are the basic objectives of accounting uh, information system? It provides the accurate and timely information to the business management, internal or external, whatever the user will be there. Next, it makes information about the financial position and performance available, while it is also furnish the information. It possesses the characteristics of reliability, relevance, understandability, and comparability order to facilitate the management in decision-making process. This is the parameter models of information system. These are the five level pyramid models of information system. First of all is uh, transaction, office support, management information system, decision support system, and the executive information system. This is a pyramid. First of, all, first of all, in the pyramid, basic data, information, explicit uh, knowledge, and then the tracked knowledge. Development of accounting information system, or we can develop the AIS. And AIS, uh, to the development of AIS, we have just need the five basic steps, planning, analysis, then data analysis, decision analysis, and the process analysis. So in the all the uh, development of accounting system, basically five steps are there in which we have to analyze the data, analyze the decision, whatever the uh, will be taken by the individual basis, we have to take the decision. Process analysis, it is a review of the company business processes, the organization processes are identified and segmented into a series of events. These processes can uh, then be modified or re-engineered to improve the organization operations. 
this accounting method is used when automation on re-engineering is the system's primary objectives. Thank you so much and good luck.